Hi everyone, I'm back with another hieroglyph. So what was this one and how was it used in ancient Egyptian? That's what we'll get into in just a moment. Welcome to Voices of Ancient Egypt. If you're new here, I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss future videos like this one. All right, so what is this hieroglyph? It is basically the picture of a folded piece of cloth. So how was it used? This was actually representative of a one consonant sound, the sound like our letter S in English. So a basic s, like in set or sit or send, something like that. So how could you use this? It's of course extremely versatile because it is a one consonant sign and it can show up in many, many words. But here are a couple of examples. It can be used by itself as what we call a suffix pronoun. This is a type of pronoun that attaches to the end of a word. So in that case, it can mean she, her, or hers. So for example, we could say her daughter like this. By having the S on the end, it makes it a possessive, her. It can also be used in another type of pronoun, and which doesn't have to attach to a word, as set. If we use S and T together, and again, this can mean she, her, or it, depending on the context, because there was no neuter, no real it in Egyptian. So when we're translating into a language like English that has it, sometimes it is more appropriate than she or her. All right, so there is S for you. I'll be back with another hieroglyph soon.